Mother's Day. Mother's Day. We haven't vlogged before today because it's Mother's Day. God, it's bright out. Um, anyway, we um, are trying to find our way out of the parking lot. We just had dinner with all the kids. I got a bunch of flowers. It was a lot of fun. It was a good, good meal. And a new sushi place we haven't been to before, Mom, Momiji. Momiji? Momiji Sushi. And they have a few locations in the Portland area, so check them out. Momaji. Their sushi was really good. The staff was super nice. Um, anyway, we are gonna go home now. And maybe have a, a cup of tea and I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a nice Mother's Day if you're moms and or the, if you can, if you've celebrated with your mom. Um, otherwise, if you don't celebrate Mother's Day, I hope you've just had a good day. Anyway, all right. Tomorrow is going to be... Monday. Um, yeah. I'm got, I've got video to edit, at least one to shoot, and probably babysitting along with dropping off some Amazon returns. So it's all a thing on Monday. Um, I can say it now because this is... You're not going to see this till I'm home, but we are going to Seattle on Wednesday um, because Bob and Becca and Paulius are going to a concert. babysitting junior while they're doing that, and um, which is fine with me because I I don't know about being in a big crowd with a lot of people and the smoke and the loud music and I like concerts, but I don't think I'm just not there right now. Anyway. If you make me choose between a concert, even if it's a group I love and spending time with a grandson, it's not a contest. Anyway, after that, we're driving to Canada. I know, right? So we're going to go up there for a few days and we'll be home on Saturday. So guess what? I'm going to bring you guys with us. And yes, I will be doing crochet in the car. I'm sure I haven't vlogged at all today. <laughs> Oops. It is Monday, May 13th. I... Ended up not having to babysit today because the real estate stuff that was going to happen this afternoon is happening tomorrow while I'm already babysitting. So that's a thing. Uh, but I did get a lot of stuff done uh, and prep for our trip on Wednesday. We leave Wednesday. Um, I have some more donation stuff I'm going to throw in the back of my Subaru. I don't know if I'm going to do anything about it till after we get back, but at least it will already be in the car um, I just, Bob's been working on my antique secretary desk for quite a while, and although she's a few different colors, she's definitely not perfect. She's got her dents and dings. I'm, I really like her. I can't wait to get her upstairs, so I'm going to let her just sit for a bit. I did get another tutorial video edited today, created and edited today, so my Monday situation is working. I also got the vlog edited, so that's all scheduled and ready to go. Let's turn this off. I have some connections that I've made via Nextdoor for um, situations in the area that can use blanket donations. So I will be connecting with those people when I get back. Um, most of them take care of cancer and or senior patients. So that's perfect. Some of the organizations that do this, they just... <laughs> they're a little picky which is fine I understand that they you know need certain things they have certain requirements that's fine but yeah anyway so we'll take care of that after we leave I have this pile right here that's got to go on the car I've got laundry to take out of the dryer and then I'm gonna go sit and chill upstairs for a little bit so yeah and my dad I had to put his dog down today um, that he had with my mom when she was still alive. So it's kind of his last connection to her. And yeah, anyway, that happened today. So, all right, that's it for the minute. I'm going to take care of a few more things and nice. I'll be back. So you're going to be a little shaky and at a weird angle because we're out for a walk little mister and I, so pushing a stroller while filming is challenging. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway, we're gonna go get some steps and it's a beautiful day. It's only like 71 or 72 outside. So he just woke up from a nap, got him to eat a little bit of something, but he wasn't super hungry. So that's all right. It is what it is. All right, I'll be back. Sorry for the background noise, but we are in Seattle. We're here for the day. Uh, we leave tomorrow for Canada, British Columbia. We are here with Polyus and Rebecca and Junior. And the three of them are going to go see the Rolling Stones tonight. And I'm gonna stay back at the place we're staying with grandson. Of course, crochet and stuff. This is what I do. But anyway, we're just walking around town getting some food to eat at some cute little local places and yeah forgot how pretty parts of Seattle are any big city has its pretty parts anyway all right I'll take some pictures and things and share them with you here I'll be back All right, little Junior's asleep. This is the inside of the penthouse that we rented for the evening. It's a little bright and sparkly, but that's okay. Uh, it's fun, that's for dang sure. Uh, yeah, it puts a smile on my face. And even if you don't like the decor, I mean, how do you not like, there we go, that view. I mean, downtown Seattle, hello. So I'm going to sit in the quiet and watch some YouTube, do some crocheting. Uh, I'm going to pick up some toys quietly. Um, while everybody else is out at the concert, we'll probably snack on a few nuts and drink some water. I haven't had nearly enough water today. And uh, yeah, just sit in the peace and quiet, wait for everybody else to get back from the concert which I don't expect anybody home before 11 o'clock, probably midnight, so. Anyway, all right. I'm on duty, making sure our little one's safe until then, so yeah. Oma better occupy herself so she doesn't fall asleep. I'll be back at 11 o'clock at night, and I'm just waiting for me to get home from the concert, but I kinda had to share the view outside the windows here. Hold on, lights for the best view possible. Hold on. That's my view. Oops. Out the windows. I mean, who doesn't, who wouldn't love that? Right? I am a nervous wreck checking on Junior every five minutes, but you know, it's been a long time since I took care of any sleeping infant tonight. I don't know what that difference that makes having him during the day, but it does. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, and one last view of downtown Seattle. We are going to be loading up the vehicles and heading out in a little bit. Uh, first stop, coffee. Yes, we need coffee. I'll be back. We are in Bellingham, Washington. We stopped to get gas um, and the kids had to go mail something at the post office. My daughter has an Etsy shop, by the way. 
and um, I'll link it below. Um, she comes across thrifted, um, um, interesting vintage things, um, antique things. She goes to estate sales. Anyway, she um, vets a lot of stuff and sells it on Etsy. Anyway, so they're over doing that. We're getting gas and then we're gonna hit the road. I don't think I said yet, but what? when we um, were checking out of the Airbnb, we went upstairs to drop off the keys, put the parking tick, parking passes and everything. In between doing that and coming down and leaving, we got a parking ticket. Yeah, both cars. So Wi-Fi is on. We have to deal with that. Started. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. Turn left. too late I already took a picture um, good morning everybody it is Friday morning uh, May 17th it's just before 10 a.m. we slept in a bit um, had some hotel room coffee which actually wasn't bad for once um, we are headed of course though over to Tim Hortons and we're gonna pick up some coffee ourselves some stuff for the kids and head over to where they're staying um, I think we're doing the aquarium today past that I'm not sure but I'll let you know, keep you posted. I did work a little bit on the Afghan I brought with me last night and this morning, I'm almost done. Probably can get it done at some point tonight if when we get home I'm not completely exhausted like I was last night, but we'll see. All right, coffee, we need coffee. I'll be back.
everybody. It is uh, just about 9.30 a.m. Saturday, May 18th, my wedding anniversary. We've been married 33 years and together 40 years this year. So anyway, we are packing up the car this morning and headed back to Oregon. Um, we are gonna, of course, stop at Tim Hortons one more time and get some coffee and some breakfast and bring some over to the kids where they're staying and then um, sit and have breakfast with them and then go home. And uh, yeah, it has been a really fun stay. We will be back. I did uh, not do too much shopping until I went to Dollarama. <laughs> and I like Dollarama. So anyway, there's that. <laughs> uh, I did finish a blanket. I'll put a picture here. I have some granny squares and stuff to work out on and a hat on the way home. So I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, we're going to just take our time and stop if we want to. It's our wedding anniversary, so why not? And yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey, you guys. This has taken us three hours plus of waiting in line. No joke. I don't know what the f, f is going on today. According to the kids, it's not usually quite this bad, but it sucks today. Anyway, I think it has something to do with the fact that the Canadians have a three-day weekend. So everybody's headed down to the States today and we're stuck in that traffic. So anyway, all right. <sighs> yeah, all right, I'll be back. And while we were waiting in line to get through customs, I made two hats and a granny square. Okay, we are finally on the U.S. side and we're good, so... In half a mile, use the middle lane to continue to I-5 South. Let's head towards home. We are planning on stopping to do something on the way home. We don't know what. Um, I think we just need to get out of the car and, uh, for a bit because, yeah. you know... Oh, Taco Bell, McDonald's? N um, can we not? No. So anyway, we will let you know what we end up doing but yeah that was insane you guys absolutely insane the canadian side um guy i'm assuming he was canadian he might have been working for the u.s but anyway he was a border control guy he when he saw us change lanes um at like at the last minute before you couldn't change lanes he actually had us roll down the window and said that was the smartest thing i've seen anybody do today yep <laughs> yeah because the left lane got stuck in like the first uh, first lane and the, the first others, booth. first booth and all the other ones kind of like went to the right. And it, so, it was, and we were stuck in that first lane behind yeah. like camper after camper after camper. Yeah, it sucked. Anyway, all right. We love Canada. Can't wait to go back, but border control things. I'm going to check the websites next time for which border reentry thing is like the fastest one. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. As you can see, I'm already in my pajamas. It's just after eight and we made it home about half an hour, 40 minutes ago. Everything is put away, laundry is working. Yes, I, as he, as he would be the first to tell you, am anally compulsive about the second week at home putting everything away. Everything has got to be put away. Yeah, see, we he's having tea, I'm having some coffee. Um, some Canadian cookies. Oh yeah, and Canadian cookies. I'm having Tim Hortons coffee, of course. From the Granville Island. Granville Market. Island Public Market. Public Market. I, we love their public market. I know I already said that in a clip, but you guys, I hope we have one around here somewhere. I don't think we do, but I'm going to try and look around. But it, it was fabulous. I'd go to Canada again just to go to the public market. I can't go there once a week. That's too far to go, but I wish I could. Anyway. It's been a fun trip. Getting home was a little bit harrowing because as you know, it took us three hours plus waiting in line to get through the border. I don't know what the hang up there was, except that most of Canada has a three day weekend this weekend. And I think everybody in the area was headed to the United States. So it, it was crazy anyway, but we're home. 
we made it home safe. And, you know, it was a fun trip. And it was just such a blast to see Junior's face on so many things, like especially the aquarium, though. He just loved it. Anyway. He loved the aquarium. Yeah, he loved the fish and the seals. Anyway. And, and the otters. Oh, yes. And the um, he wasn't a fan of the frogs. Didn't like the frogs. They made him cry. He didn't like the frogs. Turtles? Anyway. Mm. Yeah, turtles, turtles. see who's in. Yeah. 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 It was mostly the fish. Yeah. He liked looking out the window uh, over the bridges at the trains and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. He thought that was cool. Yeah. Anyway. We're home now. It's been a fun week. I hope it gave you some ideas of maybe, you know, a little adventure you can do. Maybe you don't have to go for a five or six hour drive. Maybe you can do something, you know, I, I grew up in California, not far from the Winchester Mystery House, but you know what? I've never been there. Maybe there's something like that near you. Maybe you can just go for the day, go out and do something fun. Maybe go to a park you've never been to if, if budget's you know, a thing. Just go out and do something. Have some fun. Enjoy life, the fresh air, all the things. Um, and be creative while you're doing it. I just about finished one skein of R a Granny uh, ugh, Red Heart All in One Granny Square um, on the way home. I'm going to finish the last couple squares from that skein now with my coffee. And I made two hats on the way home. And on the way there, I made another blanket to give away. Um, I always bring something with me, always. Um, so, you know, if you are going out for a short trip, bring a little sketchbook and a pen. Bring uh, a little crochet project. Bring bring something with you and have fun with it. B bring a camera. Take some pictures. That's creative. Anyway, that's it for right now. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, ways to support the free content on you on my YouTube channel. Those are in the video description. I have a Patreon. I have rubber stamp designs. Oh, I have stamp designs at Rubber Moon and at Art Foamies. Um, and so go, go join one of those. I would really appreciate it. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing, besides the like, share, and subscribe, the thumbs up. Um, go out and do something nice for yourself. Go for a drive. Go to the park. Do something because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.